this is Andrea here. And the other Andrea, hello. 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 <laughs> I meant to say howdy, but I said hello, and then it was hello. <laughs> so, we are here doing July 24th through the 30th in our Happy Planner. This is the Happy Planner Classic. So, let's get started. We have a new set of stickers from Bows and Brains also known as Andrea. Yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so there is our sidebar and our icons. Then we have our paydays, our bill dues, our trackers, our uh, checklists, our dots in our baby planner. Then we have to do's, today, tidbits, next week, and some dinner icons and then we have our check boxes and our half boxes and you get two sheets of those then we have our beautiful full boxes check those puppies out aren't those beautiful the kit is called freedom it's in the store now the kit is called freedom and it's in the store now if you didn't hear what Dre said. <laughs> so this is my favorite one right here and this one right here and that one right there. And I love this one right here. I guess like that means all. Four out of eight boxes. <laughs> no, I love this one too. <laughs> These are two are cute and I love that one. Yeah. Uh, here is our washi tape. Isn't that beautiful? And it's um, the, the way that it's colored it's distressed mm -hmm. so I love that okay let's get the party going with our washi tape so I am going to put this one at the top And I am removing the excess. Yeah, but look, you can use that like a little dot or something. So hang on to that. Okay. And before the video is over, I will probably ask Dre, uh, what date it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I don't even remember. This is the 24th, no, the 26th through the 30th. Okay. Yeah. No, it would be through the 31st. This is the 24th through the 30th. Yeah. We forget very quickly. Yeah. This is the forgetful folks. Yes. So I made a mistake in one of the last videos. Oh, you did? Yeah. And the mistake I made was talking about how excited I was about my, the date I was about to have and the date that I had already had. Because he turned out to be... I spoke a little too soon. Let's, um, he yeah. turned out to be very violent. Yeah. And um, it was scary. And I, I didn't want to talk about it, but then I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to warn people, not just women, but men too, because men get abused too by a, other, other men other and women. women. Yeah. yeah. Um, he choked me, <coughs> and to the point where I was about to pass out, and he finally let go and he was finished doing whatever he was doing, and, um, he had the nerve to ask, to tell me, or to say, so I'm never going to see you again, huh, afterwards. Like, like there was an option of me ever seeing him again. Right. Andrea was not raped. No. But um, she she was hurt physically. 
and emotionally yeah. uh, because it's this guy this guy was wheelchair bound oxygen tank bound yeah he had an oxygen tank so um he was on dialysis he was on dialysis so it wasn't like Drea um knew he was going to th basically threaten her life yeah um because it was because of all his ailments um he didn't seem like a violent person right he seemed very sweet on the first date very nice very funny very down to earth very honest and then something changed on that second day yeah and it was scary as heck yeah so with all that in mind be careful uh, uh, the people you meet, whether it's online or in person, mm -hmm. you don't know what their true intentions are or what they're um, about. Yeah, or even their true abilities are. Yeah. So. He definitely surprised me with the strength in his arm. Yeah. Because well, I couldn't breathe. Yeah. And all I remember, all I remember is trying to pry his hand from around my throat. And I was clawing at his hand. I was not just gripping it, I was clawing. And he would not let go. And that scared the shit out of her. Yeah. And I'm sure um, you ladies out there also can feel the fear of what she went through. Just be careful, guys. It's not... It's not worth your life mm -mm. to be put in danger. <laughs> yeah. Don't believe everything that somebody says right. until you know them, until you've talked to them for a long time in person. That way you know their quirks. That way you can tell if they're lying. All right, because you guys talked for a while. We did. Um, on the phone and online. Yeah. So it's not like uh, he gave the impression of being... E evil. Yeah, borderline psychotic. Psychotic. Yeah, because he was definitely evil. Yes, you have you'd have to be to choke somebody until they can't breathe. Yeah, and they almost pass out. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you got to talk about it. It's um, it's definitely therapeutic. Because you're not just helping yourself, you're helping those who are also dating. Yeah. And, uh... That's why I didn't want to hide it anymore. Yeah. That's pretty. I love it. I love the cat. Thank you. And don't don't be like me, guys. Uh, trying to force your daughter to tell you, all right, where's this motherfucker live? Yeah. What kind of car was he driving? What color was he driving? Don't do that. Um. Uh, because, yeah, I was going to go over, slash his tires, knock on his door, and grab him by his neck, and choke him as much as I could. Only problem with that is that's me um, in retaliation of what he did to my daughter. 
versus her doing it on her own. Because with her, it would have been, you know, trying to defend herself. Yeah, whereas me, I'm just some random bitch on the, on the night prowl. <laughs> Vigilante justice. Yeah, trying to kill somebody. Uh, but I can't go to jail. Uh, and it would not be fair because I take care of my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's 60, Eight. 68. Ooh, she got me mad that I forgot how old she is. No, she still <laughs> thinks she's 70, so. Oh, I know. That's true because I almost said 70. Yeah. She would have been like, yep. That's how old I am. It's like, yes, in two years. <laughs> you still got two years, Grandma. <laughs> she don't care. No. Grandma always rounds up. So do I. I'm not 30. I'm 35 or 40. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Mom's 50. <laughs> what? You're 46, so you're 50. No. Yes. I'm 46. That doesn't make me 50. Yes, it does. Mm -mm. You're closer to 50 than you are at 40. Yeah, well, <laughs> <you're closer than laughs> I am closer to 40 than I am to 50. No, you're <laughs> not. You know math. I'm only 40, y'all. No, she's I had not. Drea when, when I was 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been the age, too. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. But... You know what? Oh, speaking of, of babies, having babies, um, there was a girl in the hospital where I had you who was 12 mm. having her second child. Jesus. Yeah. And that's what I said. I was like, um, they need to get you fixed. <laughs> you know, like we... When we do like little puppies or whatnot. Yeah, and uh, cats. Yeah, and cats. Uh, get her fixed because that's wrong. Yeah. And her mom was in there. Oh, my. Oh. No. Yeah. So. <clears throat> anyway, I was like staring at her. <laughs> I thought me being 16 was bad. Shoot. 12, 12, 12, 12, it was, that just made my blood go cold, yeah. and then I thought, well, was she raped, you know, and nope, she wasn't raped, she was engaged to be married, oh god, yep, by the guy who gave her her second child at 12. Wow. She had no education because back then, uh, if you were pregnant, you were kicked out of school. Yeah. There was no school for pregnant girls yeah. back then. <clears throat> Although I don't know why they called it the school for pregnant girls since girls are the only ones who can get pregnant. <laughs> Except for the man who got pregnant in the news. That wasn't a man, it was a girl. No, it was a guy. No, it was a girl who went through sex change. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know. No? No. Oh, yeah. Put our weekend banner up. So just be careful, y'all. Uh... Not everything someone says is um, true, like Drea said. No. And no matter how honest they seem. Yeah. Or how nice or sweet. All that bullshit that I was spouting that one day. Yeah. <sighs> 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah. So 24.
25. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure he's wondering if I'm going to show up on his doorstep. I'm sure he's wondering if the cops are going to come by. Or maybe he's not wondering about that one because he knows he could pull off the handicap bullshit. Yeah. So Drea is going to attend a self-defense class. And group therapy. And group therapy. But self-defense class comes first, and group therapy be probably right after class. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got paydays. And our baby planner. Yes. <coughs> yes. Sunday. Okay. <clears throat> uh, paydays. So we have payday on Wednesday. And this one is gold. So I'm going to use this gold one. Then we have one on the 31st. So that's next week. Wow, we're already to August. Yeah. This is it. This is the last week of July. That's crazy. That's nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Um, the 26th. I have an appointment on the 27th. 27th. Thank you. Mm -hmm. it's doctors? Yep. Let's get our doctor's appointments out. We're going to go to the ER. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, the 27th. That's at 1.30. Yeah. Yeah. Until 4.30. Yes. That's crazy. Andre. Doctor appointment. 1.30 to 4.30. Shoo. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. My appointment was that long. I know. And it was a long day. Yeah, it was. It really, really was. So we have Game of Thrones on Sunday. And I got this image off of Google, Google Images. And then I put it onto sticker paper and just cut it right out. Game of Thrones. We don't do a lot on Sunday, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. There's our Game of Thrones. Drea still hasn't watched it, and I wanted to talk about it today. That's why I talked about what I talked about. <sighs> so, anywho. I think that is it for right now. I emptied out three sheets. That's nice. Yeah. So we got the paydays. We got our baby planner here. 
then what I usually put over here is my YouTube videos that go up. So, for instance, uh, Mondays, we don't do nothing. <laughs> Tuesday is craft day. And that is usually a mini album video yes. Wednesday we don't do none <laughs> <laughs> Thursday's craft day Thursday is craft day again it's a mini album Friday nothing <laughs> Saturday is the big happy planner plan with me and Sunday is the happy planner plan with me. I will tell you, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, usually we got some shopping to do. Yeah. Sometimes it's grocery shopping. Sometimes it's savers. <laughs> sometimes it's Tuesday morning. Sometimes, I don't think we have done a Hobby Lobby haul in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put our sheets back in our book. This says messy bun and getting stuff done. That mm -hmm. that was me today. Yes. Um, a mode. So so my butt cheeks hurt a little bit. Um. I'll be All right, right guys. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, grandma is working on something, and when she goes to work on something, it makes a lot of noise. Yeah, and she, so she makes the dogs bark. Yeah, um, but no matter what she's working on, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so she's a loud person. I think that's a Irish in her. Well, is is it the Irish? I don't know. Or the English? English is relatively quiet, I think. Yeah. Well, she's both. And Welsh. And Welsh. So, uh, she's all three of those. And then, um, uh, she's got the freckles to prove it. Yes. Anyway, let's put these back in. And, wow. <laughs> that is it. That's, that's it. This is our new week here. And I hope that you all have a fantastic week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Y'all, she just came in here. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> have a great one. Bye. Bye.